Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in this today's class, we are going to see how to export camera track from After Effects to Blender. So now we are inside After Effects here. So first we have to import our shot or footage inside After Effects. So we have to click on File, then Import, then File. So this is a shot here, which is just an image sequence. So just we have to select the starting frame here. Then downside we have to check this tip sequence or whatever sequence we have. Then we have to click on import. Now press OK. So now here just type imported by this image sequence. Then after this we have to also check your image sequence frame rate. This is showing this 25 fps. So if you want to change this frame rate according to a requirement then simply you can right click on this footage. Then interpret footage. Main. And just you can define this frame rate according to a requirement then simply we have to press OK. Then after this we have to create a composition from this sort or footage. Then we have to select this footage and just we have to drag and drop on top of this compositions icons here. So simply just we have to select and just drag and drop here. Now just type create over this composition from this footage. So this will automatically take all information from this sort like frame rate, frame size, all these things here. Now simply just we can play and just check. So this is a sort here. So this sort just we have to drag inside After Effects then we will export this camera track from After Effects to Blender. So for camera tracking in After Effects just simply we have to select this shot inside this timeline then go to this effects then go to this perspective category and just we have to select this 3D camera tracker. So this is two steps process in After Effects. Now just you can see this initialization progress. Now this is solving our camera. And this is our camera solve here and just I am getting all these 3D points inside this After Effects here. So just you can see all these points here. Now after this just we have to generate a camera from this camera tracker node. So for this first we have to select some points on our this building here. So suppose if you have a ground shot then you have to select all these points on our ground. So now just select some points on our this building here because just I want to place some object on top of this building head. Maybe if you want to create a CGI heads or anything you want to place it here. So just simply just we have to select. So here I have selected these points. Then we have to right click. And just we have to click on create solid and camera. So now here just I have created about this one solid. So downside you can also see and just disable camera tracker here or camera here with animations. Now if you will play and just check this shot. So now if you will see. So this solid is just moving according to this camera movements here. Now just you can see it here. And this is looking good here. And then after this before starting further work. First we have to save over this project here. Then we have to click on file. Now after creating this solid and camera. We have to also normalize this scene inside after effects. Because now if we will create a solid. So just check this solid. So this is just only for explanations here. Now press S and if you will convert into 3D object. So this is just placing in this position here. So simply just you can see. So but what I want to do. So suppose if you will normalize this scene. So this will automatically create any 3D elements on top of this building. Here. So simply just we have to delete this solid. Then just we have to select this solid. This solid just I am going to use as a reference object. So for normalizing your scene just we have to select this camera. And just we have to link with this solid means just we have to use parent child relationship here. Then after this we have to select this solid. Now press R for rotation. And just we have to make all these values 0 0. Then we have to press P, P for position. And simply just we can check these positions here. So again just we have to normalize all these values here. So in first place just we have to type 960. Then second value 540. Then third value 0. So now here just type properly normalize our scene. But actually if you will see this is not showing anything here. So now if you will create any 3D object, just check it, now convert into 3D object. So automatic you will get on top of this building here where you want to place your object. Now simply just play and just check this camera quality here. 
So now simply just type normalize this scene inside After Effects. Then after this, just delete this solid. And also just we have to unlink this camera from this solid because this was just only for normalizing this scene. Now just we have to unlink this camera from this solid. So simply just we have to select this none. Now after this just I am going to export this camera track from After Effects to Blender. So for this click on file then go to this scripts then downside you will get this export composition data to JSON file. So how to install this script inside After Effects? Everything we will explain in this video. So just we have to select this export composition data to JSON file. Then simply we have to select this folder where we want to save the JSON file. So simply you can give any file name. So here just I have given this file name. Then we have to click on save. Then finally we have to click on export. So now here just I have exported over this camera track from After Effects to Blender. So now we are inside Blender and this is the default interface of Blender. So first we have to delete all the default items here. So now press A and just delete all these things here. Then after this we have to import JSON file which just you have exported from After Effects. Then we have to click on File. Then we have to click on Import and downside you will get this After Effects Composition Data Converted JSON file here options. So again this script you have to install for Blender. So both script how you can install for After Effects and for Blender we will explain in this video later. So now just we have to select this option and just select your file which just you have exported from After Effects. So this is our file which just I have exported from After Effects. Simply just we have to select and just we have to click on import AE comp. So now here just type imported up this camera track data inside Blender. So just you can check it here. So now if we select view through this camera view, so just I am getting this camera animations here. And also just we have to define over this frame range here. Now just simply we can play and just check this one here. Now after this just I am going to put our background plate or image plane here. Just simply just we can open this one and just we have to select this camera. Then downside we have to click on this camera options. Then simply check this background image. Open this one. Click on add image. Go be click open and just select your image sequence or footage. So this is our image sequence. Then we have to select the starting frame. Then hold shift and just select last one. Then we have to click on open clip. So now just I have imported this image plane or background inside Blender. So now just we have to play and just change. So suppose you want to hide this one. Then simply just we can click on this one. Alright, so again just go to this camera view. So easily just we can select this one and just delete this one. Now just look through this camera and just we have to play and just check this camera quality inside Blender. Even just we can also check your frame rate. So even before if you are getting any problem, so this one just we have to check. So according to your After Effects frame rate on which just you have tracked your shot. So now if you will see, so simply just I have tracked this shot on 25 fps. So if you are getting any problem, then you can also set this frame rate even before importing your camera track inside Blender if you are getting any problems here. Okay. So now just we have to play and just check this camera quality. So now this is looking good here. Then after this suppose if you want to place any elements on top of this blending then how you can place so again just go to this perspective here so now first we have to understand why i have normalized this scene inside after effects so now if you will create any 3d object inside blender so this will automatically place on top of this plane here so just you can see so maybe if we will create a plane now just you can see this plane and just rotate in this x axis maybe make it 90 so now if we will see this is just placed on top of this solid air which which is on top of this building here so just you can see so any object if we create so this will automatically place on top of this building so just you can see this one and this is just moving according to this camera movement here so if you will normalize your camera inside after but then only just easily just you can place any object on top of this building. So this is huge of normalization inside after effects. Even just you can hide this one. So just you can see and just we can also use this solid according to your requirements. You know just you can see. So now after the just I am going to little bit adjust this solid according to our requirements and maybe suppose you want to place anything on top of this building and if you want to create maybe a CGI here, then how just you can adjust all these solids here. So first just I am going to adjust this actually a little bit transparency for the background plate. So again just we have to select this camera. So select this one. So downside you will get this option opacity. So just increase this one. 
Now again, I select this solid and simply just you can scale it here according to requirement. Just make it till here. Now simply just we can press tab. So go to this edit mode and just we can select all these points. Now press G and press Z. So just move maybe in this X axis. Now select this one, press G, Z, then G, X, press G, X, Simply just we have to play G then X and Z and just properly just we have to play this solid according to requirements. I think this is sufficient and the many things that you can adjust according to requirements. You know simply just we have to play and just we have to check. So now just you can see. So this solid is just placed on top of this building here and it is just moving according to over this camera movements here. Then after this if you want to place maybe any 3D object or if you want to extrude this one then it is just you can extrude and just you can place anything on top of this. A plane here. So now just I am going to create one 3D object. So again just go to this perspective. Click on add mesh and just select this maybe monkey. Even if want you can also just create a grid. Now just I created just you can see this is just on top of this building. So now again press S for scale and as you scale this one. Now just you can see. Even properly, if you want to place on top of this building, then also just we have to check through this perspective. So just we have to properly just we have to place on top of this plane. So remember this one. So now just hide this solid. Now just we can play and just check. So now if you will see. So this monkey 3D object just placed on top of this building here and this is just moving according to this camera movement here. Now just you can play and just check so just you can see all these things here. Even just you can also enable your solid so just you can see so both things separate just you can see. So first till here just save this project click on file and just save this project. So after this just I am going to see how we can install these two script inside After Effects and also inside Blender. So now we are inside After Effects. So first we have to download these two script. So these two script link I have given in description. So now first just I am going to see how we can install inside After Effects here. So simply just we have to click on file. Then we have to click on scripts. And just we have to click on install script file. And just we have to select a script file which just we have downloaded from link. So simply this is our script which just I have downloaded from this link and just we have to select and downside we have to click on this select then you will see this options one or more script file were successfully copied to your preferences folder. Now just we have to press ok then we have to close this after effects and again just we have to start after effects. So now if you will click on this file then go to this script so downside you will get this export composition data into json file options here so like this simply just you can install this script inside after effect now just i am going to see how to install this script inside blender so now we are inside blender so again go to file and click on import so you will not get this options here for importing the json file so now for installing this script we have to click on edit then preferences then we have to click on this add-ons then we have to click on this little bit arrow here in this right side so you will get this install from disk options here so if you are maybe using older version so on top of you will also get this install script options so now just we have to select this options and just simply just we have to select a script which just you have downloaded from this link So this is the script file which just I have downloaded. Simply just we have to select and just we have to click on install from disk. So now here you will get this options here. So simply just we have to check this option. Remember this one. Now close this one. And again if you will click on file then click on import. So you will get this after effect composition data converted JSON files options here. So like this simply you can also install this script inside blender. So guys till here I have completed this class. 
सो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज वॉच शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ यू आर स्टिल नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग